Griffy and Gray live in a savanna somewhere in Africa. They don't know the exact location if you ask them. Griffy is a huge giraffe with a long neck and Gray is a black and white striped zebra. They live in the same area and meet from time to time at the same watering hole as they do today. Griffy is chewing on a green leaf and lying in the shade. The giraffe asks the zebra, Tell me, have you had anything exciting going on today? Or do you have a story to share with me? I could need some entertainment. Did you hear about the medicine woman's farewell party? She's leaving the savanna for two months to go to Italy for a vacation and to visit her aunt. Let's go to her party tonight. I want to dance and sing with all the other animals again. Oh, that's a great idea. I love savanna parties. Celebrations in the savanna are always wild and loud and last all night. Many delicious leaves and grasses to eat are served. And the animals sing and howl loudly, just enjoying life. The sun was already rising when the celebration ended early in the morning. The medicine woman said goodbye to the animals. Thank you for the beautiful feast, dear animals. Please take good care of yourselves. And if someone does get hurt, there is an emergency medicine box next to the watering hole. I'm looking forward to Italy and to the delicious pizza there. Unfortunately, there is no pizza in the savannah. And so the medicine woman took a suitcase and headed off to the town to continue her journey to Italy. The animals, tired from the dancing and howling all night long, went back to their sleeping places. But life in the savannah would soon be very different. The animals in the savannah lived their lives as they did every other day, in harmony with nature. There was no great variety. Only now and then, an animal had to go to the watering hole to get something from the emergency medicine box. Most often, the hyenas and the lions. They were simply the wildest animals in the savannah. One day, the medicine woman had been gone only for a short time. A man in a white coat and round glasses appeared in the area Griffy and Grey called home. His clothes looked like the medicine woman's clothes. She also wore a white coat. Griffy and Gray, interested as always, immediately went to him. Who are you? asked Griffy with interest, and Gray looked around curiously. The man had arrived to the savannah in a small bus, where he also slept. I'm the medicine man representing the medicine woman while she's on vacation, he replied. She asked me to continue her work out here in the savannah. Griffy whispers to Gray. Did she mention anything about that? I don't remember anything about that. Did she say that to you? Mm, no, no, nothing. She did leave us with the medical emergency kit and she checked us all out before we left. No word about another medicine man. And then Griffy explained to the medicine man, the medicine woman didn't mention anything about you. Oh, 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 yeah, she might have forgotten. Come over here, giraffe. I'd like to examine you and check you out. Skeptical and quite hesitant, Griffy went to the medicine man, who immediately patted him down. This doesn't look good, the medicine man said. Griffy and Gray looked at each other with their eyes wide open and scared because Griffy had never been sick. What could this be? Had the medicine woman missed something? The same day, the medicine man announced an alarm in the savannah. After he examined the giraffe, all other animals had to come to him for a medical checkup. 
Gray was amazed by what was going on. Griffy, what is happening? The medicine man says that all animals out here in the savannah are sick. I'm puzzled. How could this happen? The animals had gathered around the medicine man's bus. There was an uproar, and in that moment, he began to speak. I have examined all of you, and I have found that the giraffe's snack is too long, the zebra has too many stripes, the hawk has too many feathers, and the elephant is too fat. The man took a deep breath and continued. Also, the horn of the rhinoceros is too blunt, the leo has too strong legs, and the lion roars too loudly. The animals couldn't believe what they were hearing. They stood there, shocked and in silence. But Gray had to laugh out loud. There is nothing to laugh about. This is a serious situation. I have to and I can help you. So you'd better be glad I came to the savannah, said the medicine man. Gray stopped to laugh, but he had never heard such nonsense before. A giraffe with a too long neck? That's exactly why you are giraffe, said Gray to Griffy. Yeah, yeah, no, it sounds weird, the giraffe replied. But he's a medicine man, and he studied medicine. We're not the experts. What are we supposed to do now? said the rhino in panic. I can help you. I bought medicine from the city. Everyone will get some of the powder, and then you will get better, promised the medicine man. And immediately the animals lined up to receive the powder. Griffy, please don't take this. Remember the medicine woman examined us before her vacation and she said everything was fine and that we were healthy. Maybe the medicine man is lying to us. We need to inform the medicine woman right away about what's going on here in the savannah. Yes, Gray. The whole thing seems very strange to me too. I won't take it. Griffy stepped out of the line and didn't receive the white powder. Do you remember where our magic flying carpet is that we found in the village a while ago? Asked Griffy. I just had the same idea. Come on, let's go to the hut in the village. That's where we stash the carpet. It's in the hut. We'll fly to Italy to tell the medicine woman what is happening here in the savannah. We need to let her know. The two friends hurried to the village and immediately flew off. No time should be lost. The flying route was scenic and the friends enjoyed the beautiful landscape. Flying on the magic rock was a special feeling, but they were in a hurry and made as little stops as needed. Griffy and Gray saw villages, houses, roads and beaches when they arrived in Italy. The medicine woman had sent them a postcard from Italy, so they knew the place where she was staying. We have arrived! Where could the woman be? Where could she be? asked Griffy excitedly. Maybe she's on the beach? exclaimed Gray. Sure enough! They saw the medicine woman relaxing in a beach chair when they landed on the beach. Griffy and Gray rushed towards her to tell her about the medicine man who said he was a medical doctor and that the animals in the savannah were sick. The medicine woman, in total surprise, laughed and welcomed them. Griffy, Gray, what are you doing here? Such a surprise! But wait, wait, what? What, all of you should be sick? What a nonsense! You were healthy when I left, but what could have happened? Gray explained to the medicine woman that the man gave the other animals some white powder to make them well again. And when she heard that, the medicine woman knew. That villain! She yelled out loud. He only wants to sell his stupid powder. 
But Medicine Woman, he didn't take any money for it. We animals in the savannah don't have any money, you know that, explained Griffy. No, no, not yet. At first he will give it out for free, and then he will tell you that it only works if you take it every day, and then you will have to pay for it. I should have warned you about him. Now Griffy and Gray knew that they had to return to the savannah quickly to drive the villain away. And the medicine woman hurried as well to return to the savannah to support Griffy and Gray. When the two friends landed back in the savannah, they immediately hid and waited for the medicine woman to arrive. The next day, the medicine woman returned with her suitcase in her hands. The two friends had seen her from afar and picked her up along the road. The three walked up to the medicine man, got a huge fright when he saw the medicine woman. He got such a scary fright that his glasses fell to the ground and broke. I, 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 I thought you, you, you would stay on vacation longer, he said. I was going to. I planned to stay in Italy for two months. But Griffy and Gray found out you were up to something and informed me about it. Pack your things and get out of here, the medicine woman scolded. Or do you want me and the animals to chase you out of the savannah? The medicine man knew it was time to get out there fast, and so he did. Griffy and Gray and the other animals cheered as they knew their home in the savannah was safe again. That evening, all the animals gathered around the campfire and excitedly discussed how this could have happened. Don't let anyone fool you, said the medicine woman. Not all humans are kind. Some just want to take your money. You are perfect the way you are. Healthy and strong. Never forget that. Griffy nodded in agreement. We are lucky to have such a loving and smart medicine woman who is always there for us. The medicine woman informed all the other medicine women in the savannah about the villain and that he was out and about, again, trying to sell his white powder. We must work together to drive this villain out of the savannah. We must not let him lie to the animals and take advantage of them. And the animals also informed each other. Griffy told each giraffe that it is normal to have a long neck. Frida Falcon visited all her falcon friends and told them about the incident in the village. The elephants wandered around the savannah and told all other elephants to not trust any medicine man who tries to make them believe that they were too fat. After a few days, routine and calmness returned to the savannah. Gray, I'm glad we're all healthy. Because when you're healthy, nothing else matters. <laughs>